Well, I don't know if this is even recording audio. It looks like it is. I was going to try to do... Interesting how this works. So this gives me a little more freedom. It's plugged up via Thunderbolt or whatever. And... <clears throat> Oh, by the way, I'm in Pittsburgh right now. This is Melwood. There's my truck. And I'm going to do a little... Do a little uh, kettlebell workout since I haven't done one in a while and I need to keep at it. Don't want to take too much of a break on that shit. Got into Pittsburgh yesterday morning. I left Richmond, Virginia at 4 o'clock in the morning. I had intended to leave at 3 o'clock in the morning, and I should have left at 3 in the morning. Because I hit DC. Mostly before the really bad traffic, if I'd have left at 3, I would have definitely missed everything. So, I need to figure out how to get, I guess I could use photo booth as uh, the other video to get the, now I've got, I'll have two camera angles at once, which will make them more interesting to me. Yes, okay, good. I don't know if that makes any difference in the camera. Yay! So I've got two different angles that are almost identical. But I left at 4 o'clock. I was prepped to leave right at 3, a little bit after 3, and what happened was I got to looking at my Amazon Prime thing and then uh, I started downloading stuff so I would have a road trip playlist that was broad enough to play whatever I wanted. Um, I don't I didn't I don't have a lot of I did not I didn't have a lot of music on my phone. Now I do. I I like the Amazon Prime music app a lot better than iTunes. Uh, so I downloaded like I don't know, 600 700 tracks. And so that took a little while, and I got delayed, so it gave me time to drink some coffee and get ready and double-check on some stuff. But I didn't hit the road until 4 o'clock. And I got into Pittsburgh. I got to Tent Store at about 10.20, which wasn't bad. And the drive wasn't too bad. I wasn't sleepy. Um, it made for a tough as far as staying awake it made it hard to stay awake uh, the rest of the day I was I was finding myself even sitting down in conversation that was engaging and I would head bob a little bit you know I looked like I was fucking high on heroin or something but we went over to the Carnegie Museum uh, we went to the natural history part of it that was pretty cool Tent knows seems, seems to know somebody everywhere we go too so well, he's worked there for a long time now. Uh, well, I don't know if he's worked there a long time, but I know he's worked there for a while. Um, seemed to run into somebody he knew everywhere we went, on the street or, or wherever. You know, he's been here 20 years, so it's pretty cool. So I got my cigarettes, my coffee, and I'm going to sling this fucking kettlebell around. make a more dramatic angle for the phone since it's tethered to that with the USB cable or Thunderbird cable whatever it is fire where it's up fire thunder thunder fire I don't even know these fucking stupid names they give these things all I know is it's fucking expensive to get a fucking replacement cable and some motherfucker stole mine at the museum
I guess. <laughs> so we're on, I'm on Tent's front stoop. I'm gonna go for a run because uh, there are a lot of really fucking good looking uh, women around. So I'm gonna flop my dick around and go for about a five minute mile run. I mean, a five mile run. Let my you know, announce my presence. <laughs> fucking cockatiel or something. Had a lot of really good looking women around. Summertime, you know. I, I imagine the women in Pittsburgh, men too, in Pittsburgh are quite eager to wear shorts and skimpy clothing in the summer because it feels fucking great right now. But um, the wintertime is so fucking brutal here. I bet you people are just wanting to slut it up. <laughs> I'll finish this cigarette and then I'll do a little lift. And then maybe I'll go for a run. In the video and then go for a run. While I'm at it, I'll play with some angle, camera angles. I really like this now because I'm getting a much more dramatic uh, recording. You see me doing things at both, both ends. You can see how this camera works, how this one's working. I like that it flips it as to how I've got it set up. Yeah, this is really cool. It's a new trick that I learned. I, I'd learned, done it with Laura's phone because she had a, a proper cable. You can't do it with the USB iPhones has to be this fire thunder thing or whatever it is. Um, thunder, thunder wire? I, I, fuck, fuck, it never came of that. Man. I guess it's cool with USB 3.0. Fuck, man. And they just call it FireWire 2.0. It's just a different technology, different patent, different inventor. Tried to put a bicycle back together last night, and I'm a fucking idiot. It's a lot harder than it should be Didn't finish. It started to rain anyway, so we... We nixed that idea. some stretching. We, after the Carnegie, it was about four o'clock. I was wanting to stay occupied so that I didn't go to sleep because I didn't want to screw up my sleep schedule and waste, waste a day or two here. Get, you know, I didn't want to fall asleep all day and then wake up at two in the morning and have I wanted to kind of have a little bit more of a normal sleep schedule while I was here. Tent's got a pretty wacky sleep schedule too. Fuck, I'm just moving this cigarette. If we're lucky, Tent will make an appearance. But he's busy kind of rearranging and cleaning up a little bit for the BYOC this Saturday. It's going to show me. The lipocemia. So, lipopolycemia. Which will have some well, Florian Cromer, uh, some Monty Cansons in Belarus, and a newest, newest shower incident that I'm quite proud of. It was improvised. I came together nicely and I didn't burn myself too badly. I did have a little scorch mark on my side. A little more coffee and I think I'm ready. 
what it looks like. Photo booth probably needs to be the main window so that it doesn't freeze up like that. It just kind of goes to sleep. Yeah, I like this quite a lot actually. The two different angles are really neat to me. Hey, beautiful dog. Hey, you're a good boy. That's true. He loves meeting people. I feed him well. He's got a good coat. That's right. Okay, buddy. I'll Never see well you again. Never well enough, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm going to go finish this cup of coffee before I get going. Took my vitamins. Picked up a vitamin C complex and a uh, multivitamin called Super Crusade that looked all right. <clears throat> That's how I s stayed stayed wired for the road trip. I chewed on a couple of periodically. I would chomp on some vitamin C to try to kind of stay alert. Only used, only drank a cup of coffee before I left, and a drink a cup of coffee at the uh, gas station that filled up just before reaching the Pennsylvania border. Uh, it was an amazing view. I took a little snapshot of it. It was a nice bell. But, uh, the drive over was quite spectacular. A lot of nice views. Really dynamic up and downs. Um, only nine miles an hour most of the fucking trip probably, which is stupid, but uh, it, it I only passed one cop the whole time. He was on a 55 mile an hour road. I was going about 65, but the rest of the traffic was going 65, so I just kept trucking. On the way back, provided I leave at a reasonable hour and um, don't have a pressing deadline, I'll probably try to leave the day before I have to have any work. I don't know set myself up for too much. I don't know what my schedule's going to be like. I haven't, the schedule's not been done yet, and it's always erratic, but the 15th, I suspect I'll have to work at the museum. I've met a lot of museum workers as a result of tent, having worked at nearly every museum in Pittsburgh by now. Which is fucking cool. I love the work in some of these buildings, but... Something that seems to happen here versus what's in Virginia's, or at least in the Virginia Museum, is that a lot of work is third party, hired out work. Because the museum has its part time staff and does a fairly good job at least giving them 20 hours or so a week. Whereas here, a lot of the art handlers and such are <coughs> independent of the museum and unionized. I don't know how they. With what it's like working for one of them, if that's good or not. I'm not sure. Something to ought to explain sometime a little more. I'll ask some questions about it. Doesn't this current setup doesn't seem to favor fellows like Temp so well, unfortunately. I mean, he's been at the Warhol for 19 something years. Um, I believe there was one of those slash hire, uh, you know, axe hire, which hires that kind of came in and got rid of a lot of people. After 19 years of Tint being known for being the guy that wore unique outfits every day, uh, after 19 years of that, he, this guy comes in and says he has to wear all black. And Tint had quite the reason not to want to wear that. Explained to me, and I quite relate to that, especially with some of the books he's turned me on to. It. And we kept up with him about it. And the, you know, the Germans were quite a fan of the uniform. 
So now the AV guys at, at the Andy Warhol Museum are required to wear all black. It seems kind of silly to me. You're an AV guy. Kind of Phantom of the Opera anyway. You're not... You ought to be able to wear, wear what you want. With a reason, some a good argument. Tim had is he's not some 19 year old that's just you know, dressing against fashion or whatever, or dressing too skimpy or whatever, and you know, dressing like an asshole. Tim has a very specific intentional sort of reason for dressing the way he dresses and makes his own clothes and modifies them. So this is kind of annoying. There ought to be a setting. But it doesn't seem to be the case. I know if I were to record, it would just stay on, but I don't want to record that alone. And I suppose, suppose I could do, because right now all I'm doing is like a camera feed from the iPhone. Suppose I could do a live feed, and that would, since I'm connected to Wi-Fi. So I could double duty a little bit. So now, it doesn't want to do the orientation how I want it. But, yeah, so I guess, hmm, I wonder if I, if I keep it this way, if it, uh, no, it doesn't seem to want to do that. We'll find out. Come on, baby. Yeah, my phone doesn't want to change the orientation for some reason. Come on. What the fuck? I'm gonna turn this fucking off. And then the people in. It'd be very cool if it kept it as the source and you could see the startup. Well, it wouldn't be that big a deal, it would be pretty cool to me. I suspect it may do that. No. Too much to ask. We got some of it. You know what's funny is I bet you it, I wonder if it shows, oh, uh-oh, shows the code. I don't know why it won't do the orientation switch. He's doing it on the phone, so does it, does it there, it does it, I just said. But for whatever reason, my Facebook and that stuff, maybe Facebook's got it locked out. That's fucking dumb. I want to be able to do a video this way. But I, I guess it only allows it this way.
which is kind of a drag because yeah see it doesn't do that because all right so the the cable being on the bottom it's difficult for me to set this up but I think I figured it out with the matches the match box here kind of a delicate it's kind of silly well probably not that great for my cable but I can I can do this and it looks like I'm looks like it's working and it's recording on both screens here so I'm doing a screen recording of the iPhone screen as well as a screen recording of the, the laptop screen and I'm getting so I'm doubled up on the the, the the laptop is recording what I'm doing here and then what I'm doing here is going to Facebook by Facebook live so it, it'll be recorded there and it looks like I've got one viewer I don't know who's popped in but somebody's able to watch this so do my normal routine here who's it who is it here Oh, we got another nihilist in the house. I'm in Pittsburgh at tentatively at convenience's house. What's up, Ross? So I start with 20 each side, twice, just in circles like this. One more set of 20 here. And I do 30 curls for the girl. Looks like we have another visitor. Four. This is a record for me. There's four people watching at once. I haven't had this many people. For those of you wondering what else I'm doing, I'm doing, I've got it connected to my computer where I'm able to do, so on the right side I have a photo booth, so I have a video feed, and then I've got it connected to my computer via the Thunder fire wire thing or whatever the hell these new iPhones use and you can do screen recordings by a quick time so I've got that going as well oh, we lost a visitor but hey the most attended 
Facebook live feed I've ever broadcast at this point. So I just did 20, 20, 20, 20, 30. And I do the these little guys. The 20 each side, I think you should get pretty out of breath on those. And then I do 50 push ups, sometimes more. I don't even know if you can ever see me. Alright, I hit my number. And sometimes I forget these, but I do the long hover pulls now. Now we're down to one visitor. Half <laughs> floor in join. Oh gosh. This one in particular weighs 35 pounds. And then I'll do another round of, the, of everything I just did, but with lower numbers. So the 20, each side I'll do like 10, 20 curls. And sometimes I just, I just end it where I am now, depending on how I feel. But I feel like I could do another set.
World Breastfeeding Week. Amen. Feed on some breasts here in Pittsburgh if I'm lucky. That'll probably be all I do today. As far as the kettlebell, I'll do push-ups throughout the day in little chunks. And then I'm gonna go for a quick run around and try to scope out, do a little, little peacocking for the chicky boos. All right, Ross, I'm going to end this one. Thanks for uh, checking it out, man. Thanks for checking it out. I'll see you next time. That was pretty cool. I really like... I really like this uh, doubling up. The only thing I wish I could do is I wish it would let me do this as an independent camera and do two where instead of having to use uh, instead of having to use photo boost to get the camera to feed, I could if I could do it all through QuickTime. There may be a way to run multiple instances instances of QuickTime. I could do a double install or something and then I could have two different apps and it would think of them differently and I could I could run them that way and that way I could have this feed here and then open up a new window and use the camera on the laptop that way it was a steady feed instead of being you know having to jiggle the mouse every couple minutes Yeah. <sighs>